Right. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I almost lost it there. Turn one. Um, welcome back to the 1975 season, and this race is race 11. Yeah, four races to go. Race 11. Um, you can probably tell by the thumbnail what track we are at, but it is the dreaded German Grand Prix at the Nordschleife. So here we go, on to the actual, that was the Grand Prix circuit that we had, and now on to the actual Nordschleife. Um, this is going to be, ooh, very entertaining. I've actually already done this race and already done Austria, um, but there was a problem with the recording. So I'm having to go back and do them again in like quick drive. So this isn't part of the championship technically. So I already have my result from this race, which is better than that. Um, my result from this race is I already came 12th. So 12th, second. I don't know why I was thinking 12th. I already came second. Um, so I've got a nice hold of points there and I've already got my result from Austria, which is the next race as well. So these are literally just to show you what the races would have would have been like. I can show you the 1970s version of um, of the Derberg Ring here. Shadows seem to have disappeared quite a bit. Um, yeah, this is just showing you the the track and what it looks like, and I can show you the race and and qualifying. But practice and quality are quite tight around here because obviously you got to do an outlap. But this is an outlap. Half, um, practice is half an hour. And it's about a nine minute, eight, nine minute lap, particularly at my pace. So that means that Layla Lombardi's getting killed. Christ. I mean, you can... Oh, she's fine. Hi. Hi, Layla. I mean, you can totally see why Nicky Lauda had his accident in the following year, can't you? Um... And it was raining then, it's it's dry this race. But um Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, it's tight as well, because like I can only really realistically do three laps of practice, including the outlap, because then the clock will tick down and I'll be out of time um, on the fourth lap. And quali I have to get out immediately and do the lap. Because I've got to do the outlap, so it'll take up the eight. It's 16 minutes, so it'll take up the eight minutes, and then I've got to be able to go around and do this, do the actual flying lap. I've got one. It's a one-shot quali. I mean, you can practice during the outlap, but that's it. Um, yeah, so it's going to be uh, going to be very, very tough. So I'm in qualifying now. I'm just coming down the back straight to start um, my one and only flying lap. Uh, of course, very, very, very long outlap. Um, no, it's a 16 minute session, I've got 7 minutes 20, so it'll be about 7 minutes by the time I get to the start finish line. Particularly if I come to a full bloody stop. Now there's a Tyrrell behind, so that's going to be pressuring me the entire lap. Right, let's try and set a lap and not... Some cars haven't gone, some cars can't get out the pits. Pit lane's slightly too small. When I was sat there at the beginning of practice, I was actually spun around the entire way because the car's trying to get past. So, this is what is now the Grand Prix circuit. It's just the pit straight, a long, long hairpin. Back up the back straight behind the pits, and then you come onto the, then you come onto the notch right there. Okay, then second, first part is the most difficult in my opinion. Very tight and technical. And there's like no runoffs down here either, so it's, it's all slightly off camber. And like 
some corners are tighter than you remember that. These ones I hate, they're always much tighter than I, than I think. It's amazing, the more, the more you keep going, some bits like that you won't particularly recognise, but then you get to some places and you start recognising it with the modern day track. It amazingly hasn't changed that much. So this is recognisable. a bit for that corner. Could have shifted down but keeping it in fifth it gave me more traction. Just run to the limiter. Oh! Up yours for reversing on the track! Oh, it's because he reversed. It screwed my lap, and now he screwed me again, Emerson. So this lap is ruined. Uh, I just got to see if I can, if I can do it, if I can get a another nice spot. I'm currently sat P2. But I need to pay attention to the track and not follow. We're assuming it's Emerson for the party because they're just going off all over the place. Tyrrell went off too. So the AI really find this track tricky as well, so it's not going to be just me, so I've actually... No. It's an even playing field. I don't have an advantage because I could also crash and mess up, but so can the AI, so that's uh, that's a really good thing. Let's try and follow Emerson. I'll see if I can keep you on for the full lap. This is a bit at the top where it's all the sort of the downhill tight almost hairpins. We've got sort of coming down the hill. Just constantly second guessing how tight the corners are. And you forget what part you're at because that corner and this one look very identical and then the two right handers following also look very identical. So you can quite often forget which one you're at. This corner is extremely tight and there's like no runoff there either. This is typically why I think I'm doing the run up the hill. But I'm not, there's still that next tight right hander. There we go, now it's the run up the hill. Again, it's tighter than you think, and these cars didn't have much downforce, so it's, you know, modern GT3 cars have more downforce. I believe it's this corner, as well, that is wanting to be renamed Smith's Curve, um, or something like that, after Sabine Smith's. So I believe it's that corner that they want to rename. Don't spin me around, please. Thank you. Take a few knocks. I mean, Emerson's completely spinning me around. Cost me most of my lap. I put in a few purple sectors. Dotted about. Here's the carousel. Right, and now the run down the hill. great bit of the track but it's so quick and you can't really see the corners it's just like I'm very tentative through here the car is extremely twitchy through this back half of the track it should be the most fun part of the circuit and it sort of is but it's let's 
difficult to do or remember. I think that's what is now referred to as YouTube Corner. I think it's that one. No, it's this one. This one's YouTube Corner. But obviously in the 1970s it wasn't called YouTube Corner because YouTube sounded like a, uh, a euphemism. So, over the crest. And we come. There's a crash to Emerson for Bobby! Over the bump. I'm not as good as some people, Sabine or Jimmy Broadbent. I'm not as not as good, not as confident. I don't know the track that but well. Giving it a damn good stab. We're in overtime and now. Second carousel. So twitchy. Here we go, and then up to the long right hand up before the back straight. Whew. Now I've got time to breathe. <laughs> got the long, long straight down the back straight. Over all these crests and hills. I'm almost there. I've set, I've set better times. It just depends whether that one sector where uh, Emerson spun me around is better or worse. I've got to beat Yuck on Mass. Put the left hand out, lift off a little bit. Probably could do that flat. Just start braking now. The car really doesn't like being in second, but you have to slow down for that corner. And the third try not spin the wheels on the bumps. And up to the line. First, P1. 8 minute 36. Whew, tough lap. Damn it. Carlos Reutemann beat us to the line right at the end of quality but it's it's um a set up a grid like this so i can totally anticipate a massive car crash behind us um but we're starting like here we're starting here side by side um so it's literally just a drag race down to the first corner so it's Reutemann, myself delper mass x fittipaldi Schechter, peterson pace ambrini lombardi price lafitte hunt louder Bergazzoni, evans watson mario andretti and wilson fittipaldi if you haven't seen Mario Andretti or Wilson Fittipaldi for the past few races. I don't know where they've gone in the normal championship. I've got a championship mode, which is what I'm normally doing these races through. Um, they appear to have disappeared. I don't know where they were, where they've gone. Um, I don't know. So they're back for these this race and for Austria as well, but they're not actually in the championship. Right. So shall we have our uh, our drag race down to the line, Carlos Schwarzman? Let's see how this goes for the 1975 German Grand Prix at the Nürburgring. Oh, blimey, blimey. I was trying to say Christ and then said blimey. Nice drift. That was the car getting out of shape because I was in the wrong gear. I shifted down too soon. Yeah, I'll give it. So it's a long race, but not a long race. It's only four laps, but it's still 23 kilometres a lap. Ah, 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 
god, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Go into the trap. I did it before in another race where I actually went so slow it actually flipped me on that corner because you can get hit by that armco where those marshals are because that's just in a really bad place. It's a horrible, um, horrible point back there. So I've got them to fifth. But the car just wouldn't stop because I was on the grass. Again, the timing screen doesn't update until we cross the line, so I won't be able to see until we get to the start finish line um, who's where. I think that's Tom Price in the shadow behind. And does that make that. Does that make that Carlos Pache in the. grab him in front? And then it's a Lotus. Oh, there goes, there goes the Brevin, and yep, there's the Lotus. So I think the two had to come in together. So I'm back to third. I'm just a long way off. Um, the guys in front. So it's Rosman Delapa, me. Peterson. So I think the big fight is there at the moment between me and Ronnie Peterson in the Lotus. And then it's Bryce in the Shadow and Lombardi in the March in the bottom of the points. No, 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 no. Oh. Hate that corner. Go! Come on, Carco. I'm eight now. I think I just put a wheel on the grass and then it just went, you're spinning round. And of course, hit the... Hit that bit of armco where those um, where those two marshals are. You can see why they stopped racing here. This was not fit for for the cars. Okay, the Brabham's going up that hill. I believe this is actually to be Andretti, someone we haven't seen for a long, long time. I don't know when his car got deleted. I feel like it was sort of like roundabout Brazil, sort of like race two. Sorry, Mario. It's a messy, messy race. This. No, it caught me! I got caught in it, I didn't bounce off. Ugh, okay. We're halfway. Parche in front, and it was Lombardi who I was trying to catch. Oh, there goes Nicky. I know there's a Brabham off. I'm in seventh, so Nicky's in the points.
I'm not getting anything from his slipstream. Damn it. Oh, Jack. He was where I want, Nicky was where I wanted to be. So I just had to avoid an action, try and break, but... Oh, we've got one more lap, let's see uh, if we can get into the points or not. Can I get the inside? No, not really. Okay, he's breaking that, I'm going to take that. He's there pushing me wide, I'm going to back off because he's going far too fast and far too wide. Oh! Now I've got a shot. Well, at least that's the place gained, but I'm still really far behind Nicky now, so I've got to try and catch up to try and catch up to Louder. If I can keep popping off corners like that, that'll be amazing. <laughs> 